Here it is, my first oak barrel. Five gallons American white oak, medium plus toasted, given to me as a gift from neighbors and good friends. The first thing I did is drill a bigger hole up top at the bunk to accommodate the stoppers and airlocks that I have that fit into my carboys. This way I can use the same stoppers. The next thing I need to do is cure the barrel, which involves putting water into the barrel to start swelling the staves so that eventually the barrel doesn't leak. At the beginning it will leak a little bit. Eventually as the staves swell, it should stop leaking and should seal up the barrel. I'm gonna follow more winemaking's suggestion on curing a barrel. I'm gonna fill the barrel a third of the way up with water and leave it in there for about four hours and then fill it up to about two-thirds and leave it in there for four hours and then fill it to the top for about two days and just keep an eye on any leakage. I'm going to use uh, distilled water because I don't want any chlorine or any chemicals to be introduced into the barrel. Here's the wine that's going to be racked into the barrel once it's uh, finished being cured. Alright, well, I've just filled the barrel completely up and now I'm just checking for any leaks. There was some leaking at the beginning when I did the third and two-thirds fillings and you can see by the spigot here it's still damp but uh, it leaked there a bit, a couple other spots, but that seems to have uh, subsided so hopefully the swelling's begun and uh, there shouldn't really be any major leaks after this so it's been over two days completely full of water it appears that all leaking has subsided no leaks the tray that I have the barrel in is completely dry I checked all the previous leaking points they're all nice and tight no new water deposits so the next thing I'm going to do is take it outside and drain the barrel. And here we go. We have everything uh, sanitized. Other carboys for the overflow. Carboys drying. And the barrel's turned over, letting it drip dry while I uh, wait for everything to fully sanitize. And here we are racking the wine from the carboy into the barrel. Once again using the Valley Vintner carboy attachment to make the Enomatic bottle filler turn into a vacuum pump and works great for the barrel as well as it works for the carboys. And there we are with the wine fully racked into the barrel. As you can see, I didn't succeed in making it completely neat on the top, a little wine stained. But that's why I'm going to spray some sulfite solution around the bung, which I'll do weekly to keep the stopper and bung sanitized and free of microbes. I always make a sanitizing solution, which I make with a teaspoon of potassium metabisulfite and a teaspoon of tartaric acid. Mix it in with some warm water. You need the tartaric acid to actually make the potassium metabisulfite effective. The effectivity of SO2 is dependent on the acid in the liquid. 
So I keep this bottle around, spray the tops of the stoppers on the carboys and now on the oak barrel and other equipment I'm using. Here's the barrel a day after racking. You can see there's a little overflow from the swelling of the barrel on the top, so I had to wipe that down, sanitize it a little bit more. And now you see the other carboys that I racked and sulfided. And those eventually will spend time in this barrel. Since this is a new barrel, this first racking will probably only stay in a couple months or so before imparting a strong oak flavor. And then I'll just rotate these other carboys in. With each racking, the wine should be able to stay in longer and longer and hopefully impart more complexity to the wine. We'll see. Stay tuned.